What's going on guys, Mr. Bropo here bringing you another video. Um, today's video is going to be kind of quick, but I wanted to review this product for you guys. It's not a figure, believe it or not, but it is my very first diorama review. Um, and it's pretty cool. This is the sewer layer uh, diorama set from Diorama Prints. Um, this is one of their deluxe sets that comes with double the amount of panels for you to use for your figure displays um, and your photography purposes. They are specially made for 112 scale figures so you can display and photograph them to your liking. So a little bit about them if you haven't heard of them. They are a company, um, an awesome company by the way, hashtag not sponsored, uh, but they are this company that creates these dioramas and sells them. The cool thing is they're not your typical dioramas that are made from the pink foam board or any type of material like that. They are, as the name implies, prints. So they're these high quality prints that are done in this awesome like photo stock, photo grade, whatever the paper is called. This nice type of paper that is nice and sturdy. Um, and you can go ahead and paste them onto foam board or cardboard or anything sturdy like that The cool thing as well is they come with different panels So you don't have to attach them all together permanently You can leave them separated if you'd like so you can mix and match different dioramas or you can move the different panels that you are given with each set um, to your liking um, and how you want to display them. It gives you a little bit of uh, customization and uh, just some flexibility on how you want to display your diorama set or if you want to take a photo or stop motion animation or anything like that. Um, it's a really cool way to display action figures or any kind of collectible that you want. So to get a little bit into the product uh, itself um, and my thoughts on them. Um, first of all, each panel that is um, that is printed out on this nice uh, photo stock paper, whatever it's called, um, uh, they there are six of them, like I mentioned, and usually they come with about three. So you get one floor panel and two walls. Um, those usually run you about 25 bucks, so that's not too bad at all. Um, that's probably the price of a Marvel Legends, more or less, so not too bad for a full-on diorama. Um, each panel is 11 by 17 inches, um, and like I said, this one is um, this one is a deluxe, so I got six of them. Um, so this thing is pretty tall, uh, it's pretty big, and, and it just looks awesome. It is so great. The size of it is perfect for a sewer layer, uh, you know, sort of scene. Um, whoop. And uh, yeah, th this thing is great. Uh, this thing retails for $34.99. I believe currently they have uh, free shipping on all domestic orders in the US. Um, so that is a really nice plus. But the cool thing is they had a pre-order uh, sale where they um, th they were so kind enough to send me a five dollar coupon as I had just barely missed the pre-order date <laughs> So shout out to diorama prints for that not sponsored But they did give me a pretty cool promo and I'm sure if you ask nicely enough They'll do the same for you if you just barely miss another pre-order uh, Sale or something like that and they always are doing coupons uh, you know, I got a 10% off coupon with this order, um, and, I, and I believe they come with uh, all their orders, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and if not, they're always throwing out promos and sales and all that type of stuff. So you can get your hands on these for relatively uh, affordable prices, which is another plus for these. Um, and uh, currently, they are whole. These, uh, I went ahead and put on cardboard. I put it on like a science fair project uh, board. Um, so I cut that to size and it allows me to essentially put, um, I can fold it. Um, so I have two um, of the big panels, um, like two separate cardboard pieces um, with each panel on them, the wall panels, so four. So I have two, um, you know, one on the top, one on the bottom, and then another one on the top, one on the bottom, and that allows me to fold it if I want to use one 
wall panel as like a basic uh, sort of set um, just like how the other ones are but I can also extend it and uh, I made a little rig for it so it can stand up properly and have it like how it's intended to be displayed um, so like I said you have a lot of different uh, customizing options on how you want to display this you have uh, flexibility um, it does require a bit of assembly um, when you get the prints they have white trim over them and I heard that that is um, from what I've been told that is to prevent uh, the ink leaking over the edges um, so it's you know comes out nice and crisp for you um, so you just want to trim that carefully with some scissors not too hard and then you want to go ahead and paste it on your foam board cardboard Whatever the hell you want to put that on so it's sturdy and it can stand up on its own or something. Um, so, yeah. Um, that is kind of how... It's pretty simple. Um, this is kind of how you set up the uh, Diorama Prince Diorama. Um, and, yeah, it is pretty incredible. The photo quality is amazing. Uh, the floor panels, especially for some reason, they just look so realistic. Um, you can really see how much detail they put into this entire thing and it leaves it a bit ambiguous with the details for licensing purposes and for general purposes as well when it comes to it being a sewer layer and not being, uh, you know, too turtle centric. But if you want to go ahead and throw in your own props and make it more akin to TMNT, you can or you can just have it be like a basic um, sewer system and you can display you know some Batman stuff in there or I threw um, Pennywise in here for fun and uh, you have a lot of different options with this thing <laughs> excuse me you have a lot of different options with this thing man it's incredible I, I absolutely love this um, before I was just doing photos for the longest with like a white backdrop and it's fun to do that but at the same time um, it just gives um, it, it, it's a little bit uh, formulaic and there's only so much you can do with that so this kind of just opens up your imagination a bit more and allows you to do different things um, go ahead and follow diorama prints on Instagram as well and if you tag them they will repost your photo um, they're, they're, they're more than likely to repost your stuff um, they love sharing everyone's um, photographs in the community um, they have a ton of different content creators on their page that utilize diorama prints so go ahead and check that out if you want to um, look at their different products go there for inspiration for your own photography uh, or just see some cool pics man they got some great stuff a lot of great products too it's a really cool company um, this is my first uh, diorama prints set I have ever received um, or have purchased I guess I should say um, and I absolutely love it and I 100% recommend this thing um, I got it for 30 bucks like I said with the, 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 the coupon that they provided for me thank you so much diorama prints for that um, but there's plenty of sales going around and you can um, you know you could probably take advantage of and if not it's still a super affordable price 35 bucks for this thing um, and it is pretty massive. They scale perfectly with any action figures that you want to display or whatnot. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, if I had to say one thing, I would probably say I wouldn't recommend doing what I did with the cardboard. It's just um, I want to use something a little more sturdy. Um, but I can still pull it off with this, um, you know, cardboard and whatnot. But the only thing I would say I have any sort of complaints with is the lighting issues, um, just in terms of like glare. Um, when I have a light pointed a little too directly at it, it's going to show up on camera a little bit and it's going to make kind of an ugly glare. But honestly, I've found ways to easily circumvent that and it's not that hard to just sort of move my light around and get the proper lighting that I want for the shot that I'm trying to go for. Um, and it might just be due to my lights. I definitely do not have the most professional setup here. So, um, you know, take that for what you will. Just to give, uh, I guess, a slight criticism, but it's also... Take it with a grain of salt because it might just be something on my end too. So overall, 
I would say this is awesome. Go for it if you want. Uh, and they have so many different ones. If you don't want like a sewer and you want more of like a city backdrop, they have that. They have so many different kinds of scenes and sets to choose from. So definitely go check them out. The links for my Instagram if you want to check out shots using this and other um, sets and whatnot. That will be in the link in the description below, and their links are going to be down there as well. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching.